who Napster is outside of California, but mm-hmm. inside of California, everybody knows this guy as being one of the best, most aggressive ledge guarders in the game. So watch mm-hmm. to see for Nabil. He will go off stage as deep as possible to try to seal out these stocks when he's fighting against Best Ness, but Best Ness keeping up this pressure to start already. Uh, as we see, there there is a bit that Ness can do in the neutral in this matchup. If you've ever watched Shaky versus DeBuzz or some other Rosa players, you'll realize that the neutral isn't actually that terrible for Ness. It really is just the fact that a single uh, disadvantage state or a single lost double jump off stage is... Oh, this is horrible for him, though. Oh, okay, really smart stuff from Best Ness. Dropping low, recognizing that Rosa's not going to be able to fall fast enough. Um, I think a little bit better awareness from Napster could have put him in the position in time, but... Uh, that hesitation prevented him from converting what would have been a really early stock. Yeah, Best Ness actually opting a fast fall in that scenario and yeah. get the up B going as quick as possible so Napster didn't have any time to react. I mean, honestly, that's the kind of stuff you have to do when uh, when you play a character with such a explicitly exploitable weakness. You really have to go to the ends of the earth to, uh, to mix it up. And Best Ness not being from this area, however, I believe he has played against Napster before at Who's Your Pappies, a local competition here in California, Northern California. Okay. Berkeley area. So these two know each other. Napster waiting to go off stage, and Best Ness actually taking the first stock here. Kelso, this could be an upset. At least in terms of matchup. In terms of skill. <laughs> I was let's say, not, um, let's no, not I, deny that yeah, Best I'll, Ness I'll might nabby, be. But <laughs> I know. That Best Ness is one of the best players that is in the tournament. I believe he is a top five seed for this uh, event. I can see it. I mean, Shaky's here, and. Uh, but Napster going off. Best Ness. Aggressive pressure. Best Ness looking for the drift off, and this is what we were talking about earlier. Napster's, Napster's relentless on the edge. Yeah, this, this is where Napster is most comfortable, definitely. Um, like we were saying, you know, Napster is a super entertaining Rosa to watch just because uh, instead of adopting the mentality that he has a second character to act as a wall, he just thinks, wow, I can hit you with two people. Oh, and Best Ness is racking up the damage with these up airs. Oh, right there, it seems like Napster is having a really hard time, um, perhaps because of Battlefield, finding his way back down. Best Ness super ready to cover these platforms, and Rosa's a, uh, you know, pretty floaty landing, kind of a rough disadvantage state against someone who can put out as many consecutive aerials as Ness. Oh, no, that. Charge forward smash actually putting and, oh. Best Ness off deep. He has no jump. Oh, wow. That trade, incredibly lucky for Best Ness. If he had not managed to uh, to pull Napster out of there, that pretty much would have been it. So a couple really close calls right there for, uh, for Best Ness. Let's see if Napster is able to find at least one more situation like that and possibly convert it this time. Oh, Napster's got him and, off stage again. Oh. He waits for the jump. That up air coming out from Best Ness. Not going to seal out the stock quite yet. Another close call. Napster almost had the timing. It seemed like he did have the call out on that air dodge, but acted a little preemptively. Here comes <laughs> Best Ness. Good pressure on the Luma. Best Ness just really getting the most out of these uh, last second air dodges right now. And Best Ness, I'm enjoying this patience coming out from oh, him. I like the. Uh, all right, Luna landing on the platform there. Yeah, Napster really, I think, needs to uh, to focus on staying staying on the ground in this matchup uh, much more so than he is. It seems like the majority of uh, the majority of, of damage that he's taking is from attempting to land on these platforms, and, and Best Ness just really scatting scatting that out each time. Oh, Best Ness going for it all right there with the down smash. Good ledge coverage, not able to hit Nabil right there. Napster coming back. He's off stage. That's going to do it. Giving him the hands right there. And that short hop rising there just getting so much value for Best Ness that game. Now, what we're seeing a lot in this matchup right now is Best Ness's neutral game. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is short hop up air coverage. And so at the end of the set, I think Napster was beginning to catch on to that a little bit. He's throwing out dash attacks right when he lands. So that way he could get a hitbox going right underneath that giant noggin of Ness right there. (laughs) So we'll see if game two has anything change up about it. Uh, covering those landings is a pretty critical part of this matchup, but I I have noticed that there, there can be some difficulty, uh, I think, in, in actually consistently covering the landings of a character as bloody as Ness, just because he can shift so much horizontally in the last few seconds before he lands, which makes things like cross-up, up-air, uh, on landing really, really scary to try and deal with. Not to mention he has that down B to help stall his momentum when he's coming back down to the stage. Oh, yeah. and look, B reverse <laughs> right there, actually. So uh, like you were saying, he's actually just mixing up these landings, not allowing Napster to catch on to his movement. Oh, yeah. Be- Best Ness uh, is working very, very hard right now. Uh, <laughs> Even even if it's not clear, it, he does he definitely looks comfortable, especially as you see him uh, pressuring these platforms. Looking Here for these we go, smashes. the charge down smash gonna catch the face <laughs> of Rosalina with that yo-yo right there. But do not let his smoothness and confidence uh, belie the fact that this man is trying very very hard. He's going straight ten to ten, oh, more than that nine to five. He's off stage now, Napster, and Napster ready for it, hundred percent. 
so aggressive off stage, and now this match is pretty much evened up right now. Just like that, we see the just a very clear imbalance of the risk reward in this matchup. A single lost double jump from Best Nass is essentially of the same value as. Oh, look at these you know, down airs coming out from Napster. Not big damage, but just creating so much space. Oh, looking for the. Oh, That's and he went for it all right there with that down air. Oh, oh my goodness. Late. It's gotta be the third PK fire he's landed in. Not the down air spy. Okay, now it's a really solid angle there to avoid the, uh, the two from coming from the yo yo. Oh, and Best Ness going with that back air pressure. Now he's just beating up on this <laughs> poor Luma. Trying to send the star to the skies, but Luma's having none of it. Now Napster coming in, regaining stage control, but Napster sitting at 105%. He's very close to dying oh. in this matchup. Ness, definitely a powerhouse in the air. Going for the Magnet Stall. Bill trying to take that double jump. Not quite able to find it, but once again, you know, this match could honestly go either way. Despite the consistent uh, dominance from, from Best Ness, all it takes is one is one good call out from Napster. Oh, and we're back in this. This is great, using the Luma to prevent the down smash that's killed him twice already in this set. Okay, Luma bouncing, but Napster unfortunately going to lose the Luma. Uh, trying to stall with the down air to keep Luma from uh, from bouncing down, but wasn't able to recover it in time uh, without risking Now Napster is throwing out a lot of nares whenever his Luma is gone. So if Best Ness can catch on to that, that might oh. be able to seal the stock of Smash. Not able to do it, but down air right there, blasting Best Ness way off the stage. How's he going to get back? Oh, Perfect air dodge. Back air. And that's going to be it. 105% great stuff from Napster, honestly, holding his own really well in that matchup and even getting a lot of correct callouts, but it seemed like the timing was just slightly off on a lot of these uh, back airs trying to take the second jump from Best Nest. I mean, what we saw was a guy who definitely knows the matchup in Best Nest, 